Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan taking you through what is new inside Mocha AE for After Effects CC 2019. So Mocha AE has been bundled with After Effects for some time now and is a light edition of Mocha Pro, the award-winning planner tracker and visual effects tool. In previous versions of After Effects, you would go to the animation menu and choose Track in Mocha, and that part hasn't changed, with one major exception. Now, instead of loading a separate application, we now apply Mocha AE as a plugin directly to your footage layer. You can also just grab the effect directly from the effects menu if you prefer. So this has a number of advantages over the old method. One, any footage that After Effects can read, Mocha AE can now also read, avoiding any codec issues. Two, all your Mocha data is now saved directly to the After Effects project, so you're not having to manage separate files. Three, because Mocha is applied as an effect, you can apply it to any layer, including precomps and proxies. And four, you can now render mats directly to the timeline without having to export, and you can apply tracking data to different layers in your comp without having to switch back and forth between two applications. Once the Mocha plugin has been applied to your layer, you can simply just click the large friendly button at the top of the effect panel, and this opens the Mocha AE GUI so you can begin tracking. The default interface in Mocha AECC is based on the new Essentials layout introduced in Mocha Pro 2019. This cuts down on any advanced tools and just gives you the basics to start with. Now if you're more comfortable with the old interface, or you just want to access all the parameters and tools, you can switch to the classic interface. We also have the Roto layout for working on large rotoscoping tasks, and the Big Picture layout for previewing your work. And all of these layouts and tools now have high DPI or retina support, so if you're working in those modes, you'll get nice crisp icons and text. So back in the Essentials panel, to begin tracking, you can just draw a shape. In Mocha AECC, we've included the standard X-Spline and Bezier Spline pen tools, along with new primitive shape tools for drawing rectangles and ellipses. You can set the tracking type over in the track motion options, from simple XY translation up to skew and full perspective tracking. Turning on the surface tool in the essentials panel, you can adjust the corners and edges to fit the plane you're tracking. This not only helps you preview the track as it happens, but it's also used to generate the data back in the After Effects timeline. Tracking in Mocha AE now adopts Mocha Pro's GPU tracker, so the better your graphics card is, the faster your shot should track. Once done, you can simply close and save Mocha AE to return to the After Effects timeline. Applying tracking data back in AE is a simple three-step process. First, you choose the layer you want to generate tracking data from. This way you can track multiple layers in the Mocha interface and then choose each tracking layer to apply to different parts of your comp. Generating the tracking data keyframes the control points in the plugin, which is useful for linking to expressions. Next, you choose the layer you want to apply the tracking data to. In this case, we have a Mocha logo we want to apply to the board. Finally, we choose the export type, be it corner pin, corner pin with motion blur, or a simple transform. Clicking Apply Export applies the chosen method to your destination layer. This new plugin approach avoids the need to rely on clipboard data, as everything is generated locally. For masks, it's a similar process. Here we've tracked a mask around the model's lips. Back in the After Effects timeline, we can choose the mats we want to use from the Visible Layers dialog. We can view the black and white mat, which is useful for generating track mats, or we can apply the mat which renders the shapes with all soft edges applied. Alternatively, if you prefer working with the native AE masks, you can create AE masks with the button below. Once done, you can then go ahead and colour correct or apply additional effects as needed. So Mocha AE CC for After Effects 2019 is a massive upgrade to the previous editions and will help speed up your tracking and roto work even further. And of course, if you need even more power, you can upgrade to Mocha Pro, which provides planar tracking driven VFX tools for both standard, stereo, and 360 VR footage. Mocha Pro includes modules such as object removal, insert tools, lens calibration, and 360 stabilization, and supports most major compositing and editing packages out there. So if you need tools to get the job done beyond Mocha AE's planar tracking and roto, Mocha Pro is the next step up. 
As always, if you have any questions, you can ask us down in the comments or pop over to the forums at borisfx.com.